Alright, this is YBR. We're going through all my games I own and trying to figure out what they are. This one is Cryptic CEP, the Beta 5 version. This was on a Humble Bundle uh, about a week or two ago, I think. And it's a combination of three games all in one. I'm going to do each game, starting with my favorite, which is Volta. Volta's funny. It's kind of an abomination of a puzzle game. But it's a fun abomination. So normally in a puzzle game like this, you know, the pieces, they stop or something, or they stick in a specific spot. This one goes with the idea that the pieces bounce around wherever and went and however they want like this so you could just bounce them around and what you have to do to get anything is to get three of them that touch each other so here we can finally do that so we could go like you have to try to see so you go like this you tilt it and then boom and if you want to you can move it around still and get another combination and then those disappear as well they stay around for a good reason let me just throw some pieces down to kind of show this off a little bit better so like say we had a bunch of pieces around like this and that did not go like, anything like what I was planning, so let's throw a couple more pieces down. They keep matching up naturally, making things too easy. Okay, here. So you see how I just grabbed those purples? Now I could just grab any other purples and pick those up too, which is kind of neat. So it's like, oh, we're running out of time. Oh, come on, get in there. Nope, didn't get there. So here you can see orange, match those up. You, you carry this orange around, and you can try to bring it to there and get that orange too. So we'll, uh, we could do this for a while, actually. It goes quite a while, but we'll go ahead and keep playing for a little bit until I think I've played it enough. Because the, the amount of pieces just keep increasing over time. So, like, right now it's pretty easy, but, you know, if you just throw a bunch down and over time you see there's more pieces. Now you got those blue ones with the plus on it. I'm kind of curious if you're colorblind, if this game actually would work for you or not. I'm just kind of curious about that, that's all. It's just a thought I had. So if anybody out there is like any sort of colorblindness, you should tell me if you could actually tell all these pieces apart or not, based on the shapes only and stuff. Because I know the yellow and the... Like, I know everything has a different shape. I'm just wondering how distinct it is, like if you can actually tell the difference. Oh, here's a, here's a power-up thing where you pick a color and it just deletes them all. So, use that up. And you get more time with the pieces, I think, if you, like, get rid of it when you're done with it. Like, if you keep waiting until the very last second every time, the next piece isn't going to have much time either. At least it feels like that, but if you, like, set it down and go to the next one, then you have a lot of time to work with it, it seems like. And you could go any direction. You could go up, down, left, right, it doesn't matter. But as far as I know, going back to the color thing, I think all of them have a different shape, but I've just never paid enough attention. So maybe just think of that. Like, I wonder if you were colorblind, you know? Just throw down some more. Because I'm not trying to do an amazing score here. I'm just trying to get through the game. So we're just going to throw a couple down. Because I'm going to lose eventually, so I might as well make it a little bit faster so we can get to the next games. You know, we'll still try a bit, of course. We don't want to die too fast, but make it difficult so it doesn't last as long, or at least make it fast. Oh, come on, get that triangle. Oh, yes. And you see, they kind of naturally end up stacking themselves, you know. I've just been throwing them wherever, and they kind of end up stacking themselves. I just got one of the power-ups and wasted it. Oh, well. I guess I'm just throwing them wherever. Go! Come on, come on. Oh, nope, didn't work. So, yeah, this is, like, like I said, this is my favorite game of the packs, of the pack of the three. It's just funny because you bounce the pieces wherever you want. Like, go here. Oh, and you smash it into it. I go there and you slam it into it and it's like crazy. Oh, slam it. Like right here. Slam it in. Get those pinks to touch. You could try crazy stuff like that. It usually doesn't work out well for me at least. But you could try it. Ain't nothing going to stop you from trying. Right here. Let's see if we can. Could... Yeah, we don't have time. You try going like this though. Come on, come on, come on, touch. Oh. <laughs> try to take out a little bit of them. Anyways, go in the, just throw a couple more. There we go. See, like, that's a crazy way to do it. It's all luck.
we're gonna lose pretty soon, so. I'm only, uh, delaying it right now, really. Because I've rushed so hard and put them wherever I want without planning. It's, go it's gonna be bad. Come on. Oh, I was trying to push that one over. It did not go well. So these ones I didn't get to show earlier but because uh, I went through it. But they just pick up whatever color they touch first. And you can touch every instance of that color to get rid of them. Like, oh, get these orange. They're greens. I mean. Whatever. Just throw that down. Throw that down. Throw this down. I can't throw that one down, it's across the line. Throw it down. Throw it down. Go and uh, just get a loss real quick so we can go to the next game. It's a fun game, you know, if you plan it out, you could do a lot better. These ones are just being thrown wherever. And even if you don't plan it out necessarily, you could still try to recover. Like, I don't think I'll be able to, but you could try. Like, uh, yeah, this is not a good way to do this. So you got a yellows. Put that there and hope for white here and you get a white and orange oh well we're gonna lose because I wasn't planning anything oh wait we have a chance all we have to do is cram this in somehow bit 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 no, we're not going to get the fit. Oh, well. That's okay. So, that's my lowest score ever. Ah, well, who cares? Uh, next game we're going to go to is Touring Car Legends. Like, these are all based off of arcade games. Um, or at least inspired by Like, this has about five tracks. Well, it is five. It's not about easy, medium, hard. Put it on medium. And you pick the track. Pick a car. I'll just go with the Elf. I think they all do handle different, and basically, this one handles the easiest. Seems like the more right words it is, the harder it is to handle, but the faster it is. So if I was trying to play really competitively, I would choose the far right one. If I'm trying to do a video where I don't embarrass myself, I choose the far left one because that's the easiest to handle. So right now is a qualifying run where you just gotta do a single lap as fast as you can, and uh, I should be able to get first place on this. Not too much problem because it is only medium. You could do no. You could do fine in medium with just this car. If you go to hard, on the other hand, uh, you're probably gonna want to use a better car. There we go. So we qualified, first place by a lot, as you see, eight seconds. And now we just wait for qualifying time to run out. Smash into the wall a bit, maybe. And here we go. You'll see that the other cars are a bit faster here. If you watch at the start, you see the small cars are kind of blocking those bigger cars because they were faster. It's kind of hard to see after all, actually. Uh, but like I said, this is the slowest one, but it's the easiest to control. And if I'm doing a video, I figure I'll least likely to embarrass myself like that. So makes sense to me and I could make it interesting actually I could spin out right here or something we just slow down make it interesting oh okay now I did spin out so I gotta make up my place from six to first and since I'm medium it's not too hard Hard is harder. For me, it's kind of like hard is too hard and medium is too easy. So, that's why I did. I just ended up doing medium because it's the middle ground, you know? If I did hard, then I don't know. Straight through the grass. You can't slow me down. Third. Second. Pass first. Churn hard! Oh goodness, I churned too soon. Ha ha ha! I thought the churn was a little bit earlier than it was. 
Oh, cut that corner. Beautiful. Excuse you. In my way. Cut that corner. I got another lap, so it doesn't really matter. Just don't screw around on the last lap and get and lose, you know? Just be careful. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect that to happen. Come on. We need maximum power from you, car. I don't know if actually driving in the grass even slows you down, truthfully. I've never actually tested it. It may or may not. Come on. Pass him. Yes. Now don't spin out like a dummy and we win. That was a lot closer than it should have been. So then you get money. I don't know what you do with the money, actually. It's just you get money. Wait for everybody to finish. They all have their own little logo designs. You can make your own. I made my own. I don't know what it is. It's just an abomination. And there's, you know, a couple of different tracks. I just went to the first one. We could do one more. Why not? We'll do uh, Rock Ham. And how about to embarrass myself, we'll use the Galactic and spin out everywhere we go. So you can see this thing does accelerate faster. But it does take a lot more skill to handle. As you see, I've already spun out. That was faster than I expected. By a lot. I should have picked a track I already did. I would have been smart. Instead of picking a brand new track I'd never driven at before, that was kind of dumb. Oh well. Alright, we got in the middle of the pack for qualifying. So that wasn't terrible. But you see, I'm spinning out all over the place, but I'm going fast while I do it. Oh, come on, don't hit me. I'm just going to ride the wall so I don't spin out. Oh my goodness, that was some understeer. Oh, ow, 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 getting crushed. So you just got to slow down, actually, and think about things. Can't be just full on the gas all the time like in the other car. Oh, out of my way, you little puny car. Just smashed him. See, look at this. Me compared to them, look at that. I'm outspeeding that guy by easily because I have a faster car. Going too fast. My own good. Almost spun out. Oh, goodness. Understeering again. Rather oversteer than understeer. At least I would still make the turn. Oh, goodness, I tried to drift that whole thing in one. Ah, oh, that was dumb. I couldn't quite make it. I think the these cars are heavier, too. The ones on the farther right, so you can smash into people and just smush them out your way. And there's no online, so it's not like the AI really cares. Like, oh, I'm aware. That's not like they'll actually get mad at you because they're fake. You know, if it was online, you'd be pissing people off. So I got one more lap to uh, get up to first. Oh, goodness, that was not nice. So 
Screw it, I'm just going to hold off for third. I don't think I'm going to make it. See, now I'm not even trying to gain on them. I'm just holding the accelerator, which is dumb. Doesn't matter. I spun out so many times, I don't care. Plus, I never even did this track before, so I don't care about that either. And you get some money, and I don't know what it does. Wow. I, I'm thinking it might have a, a career mode come, like, eventually be added, because Skate or Don't does have, like, a kind of story thing where it's like, it says, this is Felicia. She likes Lance, but Lance is uh, dating the uh, skateboard instructor, Christy, and then they leave. Then she's sad. Then her friend comes over, says, hey, did you know there's a tournament? And she's like, Lance be there? And she's like, yeah, but you got to practice. So then you practice. And the first thing for practice is easy. You just follow them. And I'm going to say this right now. I don't like this one because I'm not good at it. That's why I saved it for last. But, oh well, so the controls are actually right there on the screen. I've been using the Xbox controller for everything, so, yeah. You can finish like that. I like finishing like that. Uh, but I don't finish very often, so not bad, but Grandpa's better than you. And, well, put it this way, I'm not good at this, so, uh, like, I don't even expect myself to, uh, be able to get through this level, but we'll see. Nope. Oh, smashed my face into it. Like I said, I don't expect to do well. Oh, come on. Just let it fall. I don't know. I didn't play this one much because it wasn't something that interested me too much. But I like the other two games. Especially the puzzle one. I really like that one. There we go. So they heard you're entering the tournament. But they entered the wrong one though. The tournament's next week. Yeah, it's good luck in that. No, I meant she should forget it. Let's go. You can read that yourself. I just summarized it really badly. So that's more practice. And I've never completed this level before, so um sucks to be me. Oh god! Ow! Oh, we're dead. Alright, I gotta kick off or speed up or something on this. It's like, just to... Careful. No! Oh, so close. There's the end of it. Uh, if you want to see the storyline, though, how is that lower score than the... Oh, whatever. I've never even gotten that far before. You could do the storyline. I'm not going to bother with it. I don't want to spoil it. But there's also an arcade mode where it's, um... I think it's, like, randomly generated to some extent, at least. Levels. And you just go as far as you can and try to get a high score. I think the, uh, arcade mode's actually easier, usually. But there's no end to the levels, I don't think. So you just go on until it gets too hard and you die. We're dead! We're dead! Oh, we're really dead. You can do this in multiplayer, too. So you can go really, really fast. I think it's randomly generated, at least it seems like it is. I don't know if it really is, but... Like, oh, goodness! Oh! That was bad. Yeah, it's different, though. That one was different. See? That's different. We made it! Oh, no, we didn't. So, yeah, that is all three games of, where is, what is the name? Cryptic CEP. You could change your uh, settings. There's a controls one as well. I thought. Maybe not. It was in the old version. Huh. 
I don't know. It's weird. Uh, and you could change your logo and stuff. I don't really... I don't know what I'd made in mine. It's just like some abomination. But there's like this thing you could make things and stuff. So like here you can see you could drag these things about. And you can make like a logo and stuff. I just made an abomination of randomly placed items. So that'll do it. And then until next time, this might be our... Oh, oh you can change the color too. Like, ooh. And you can change this color. And I'll see you.